Lauren, we love these moments. Dreams becoming reality as the 2021 NFL Draft kicked off last night in Cleveland. Yeah, with the 21st pick, the Colts drafted former Michigan defensive end Quitty Pay. We talked with members of the Colts staff about ways that fans can get involved in the draft this year. All right, Stephanie Pemberton with the Colts organization joining me here. Stephanie, it's great to see you even though we're not in person. We miss having Blue in the studio and you talking about all the fun things the Colts are up to this year. But we know things are slowly getting back to normal, starting with the NFL draft, looking a little bit more like what we're used to seeing. You guys are excited for fans to be a part of that this week. What can fans do virtually and in person to get involved? Absolutely. No, we're so excited to, to be talking to you this morning. Like you mentioned, um, we, you know, last year the draft was completely virtual. This year, uh, we're excited to be able to work with the NFL to have a little bit of a hybrid model. And so um, we've got some things that, you know, fans can be a part of it in person, as well as um, some things that they can do virtually. So um, in person, uh, the draft is going to be playing at Midtown Plaza in Carmel. Throughout the weekend, we're going to have Blue and cheerleaders stopping by as well um, to do some giveaways and photos. So there's an opportunity for fans to um, gather socially distanced, um, you know, there in the outside um, space that they have um, to be a part of the draft excitement and tune into to all the draft coverage. Um, as far as virtual, we um, we do have a new Colts Arcade that we recently launched in our app, and it's in. It's a, a digital gaming area where fans can uh, play fun games and participate in different sweepstakes throughout the weekend. So we've got draft bingo. We've got Colts trivia that you can play all to win some fun prizes. And then we also have a scavenger hunt that's happening around the city where you can go out and, um, you know, win great prizes um, and, and be a part of that scavenger hunt around town. So trying to offer a little bit of something for everyone. Um, we were able to send some fans to the draft this year, uh, which we obviously couldn't do last year. So that's a nice um, opportunity. We've been able to send 12 vaccinated fans to be a part of a draft experience on site in Cleveland as well. All right, well, it's super exciting, especially just to get fans involved in this process once again after kind of a strange year last season. What does it mean to you guys and the Colts organization to be able to get back out there in the community and interact with fans in person? Yeah, it's been really exciting to, to be able to, to, you know, start to do some of those traditional events. And we're hoping that it just continues to grow and, and that we're able to bring back a lot of the live events um, that we that we had to, you know, cancel last year. So. It's been great. We've, you know, we've, we've received great feedback from our fans um, when we have been able to do some of those live events as we get back into things. So definitely exciting. Um, excited to see, um, the, like, like you mentioned, the draft back to, to kind of an in-person model. And uh, fans can visit colts.com slash draft um, to get all of the draft updates, including, you know, coverage and analysis on all of our picks throughout the weekend, but also to see what the fan activities and festivities are and how they can be involved. Awesome. Stephanie Pemberton with the Colts. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And the second round coverage of the NFL draft starts tonight at seven o'clock. You can watch that right here on WRTV.